Being a CEO means being a collaborator and a nurturer. Don't you have to be at work? <laughs> Everyone is just waiting for me to buckle under the pressure. Is now a good time to introduce the interns? Yeah. Hey, how'd you get that dog to calm down? I gave it a cookie. You always have cookies on you. Why do you want one? Who decided to make me a part of that mental program? You have seven minutes. So? How did it start? I see myself as a... Power-hungry personality? You think that's what I am? I think you like to be told what to do. Sorry, I didn't mean to... That was incredibly inappropriate. Your behavior is unacceptable. Is it? If we're gonna do this... We need to set some rules that you and I both agree on. Did you order this? Starting with... I tell you what to do and you do it. Honey, if I don't... Get on your knees. No! What? Get on your knees now. I'm... <laughs> Is that what you want? You're very young. I don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? I think I have power over you. Because I could make one call and you lose everything. Does that turn you on when it's here? Oh, hey, you forgot your laptop at the office. Mom, can Mary sleep on it? I genuinely believe women with power would behave differently. Want to stop? <laughs> you seem liberated. I've never experienced I got a live one here. Charlotte Bryce, seven years old, yellow dress, white shoes, pink socks. Abduction. Right in front of her mom. Charlotte! This is Sergeant Casey requesting an Amber Alert, immediate dispatch. You got kids? No. It's Big Jake. He's turning five. Oh, I hate these. Hey, look at that car right there. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, I think I see the car from the Amber Alert. Get closer. <laughs> we saw her. You saw Charlotte Bryce. We're trying to catch up to him. We're doing like 100 miles an hour. If he sees us, he could do something crazy. Chris, you need to back off that car. Are you guys coming? The closest available unit is half an hour away. I've lost signal. Are you calling them back? Are they coming? If we don't find him, she'll be gone forever. We need to exercise extreme caution. This creep is armed, and they're not. They're down there. What is this? On oh, the door. Charlotte? Hide and seek in the tall grass. You could hide inches away, and I couldn't see. Doctor says it's just too much dust in the air. It's a battle. 
It's good you brought the girls, Margaret. Why is that? I guess you haven't heard about the drifter. Kill the mama and the kids. <laughs> Did he ever catch the drifter? It's like he just melted into the dust. The gray man is everywhere. You can't keep him out. Didn't I ask you to tie the door? I did. He seeps through the cracks and gets inside you. He's all around us. If you breathe him in, he'll make you do terrible things. He'll make you do terrible things. Mama, were you outside all night? My advice, say keep the house sealed best you can. Relax. You're taking your sleeping aid. Any word on that drifter? What if it happens again? Those girls are lucky to have you. You don't think that? He could be anywhere! Was he in me? Mom? Oh. If you breathe him in... Get inside! He'll make you do terrible things. We're very well. You? You're a man who can fix things. There's nobody can do what I do. That's why you called me. Who are you? I'm here to take care of your problem. I don't need your help. Really? Yeah, really. He didn't have a pulse. And yet. It's some kind of a setup. You've seen too many movies. There's an art to this you may not realize. What? Nothing. Jerk. Hutch. I've been all over this world. I've seen men die in ways I ain't even know was possible. Hey, brother. Be careful. I will. With all the things that I've seen, See no demons, no ghosts, no magic. Till now, to get back inside. Let me in, man. You keep dancing with the devil. One day he's gonna follow you home.
our Heavenly Father's plan for you? Can't wait to see you. I can't find anyone to cover. There's nothing that I can do. You need to sell that place. Start living life again. How can I help you? It's a little embarrassing, really. I picked up the wrong set. For which unit is it? Two, three, four. I'm sorry, but could I please see some ideas? You're not kidding me. I can. I want you to leave. <laughs> Where am I? Why are you handcuffed? The guy set me up. Shit. We gotta move. Nobody leaves. Come on now! <sighs> Impotent rage is a terrible thing. You killed him? We're all guilty of something. Yeah, I'm okay with that. You don't understand. You don't know what's going on here. Just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? Sounded like an animal. But I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we gonna die? No. It's my job to protect you. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. Blake, that is scaring me! Blake, stop! Is that you? It was uh, last October. It was raining. And I hit something. I got out of the car and I looked around. I checked, I didn't see anything, and I figured it was a, a deer that ran off. Okay, what's the problem? I got called for jury duty. The Kendall Carter case? One year ago, on October 25th, the defendant, James Scythe, and his then-girlfriend, Kendall Carter, they had a fight. And he's gonna pay for what he did. suspect you would know what to do hey look who made it I'm gonna do this one more time Colonel and then we're done All right, boys. Let's go hunt. We are at war, gentlemen. 
Our job is to hunt down the most powerful warlord in Libya. 40 feet underground lies his bunker. Something feels off. The target is gone. It's a trap. They're dead. Oh. Why are you here? Revenge. It was supposed to be buried, forgotten. Solve it. Find me Ryder Ward. I have a plan. I'm gonna break the system. Who's behind us? A disgruntled former employee. Find him! So who the hell are you? I'm just a man making a stand for his country. Hey, how was the trip? Views were incredible. The people were friendly. And the client? Oh, I left him speechless. Who is she? Agent Graves. She's my best. Her father worked for the agency. She was groomed since she was 18. And her husband? Hey, you. I missed you. Civilian. Doesn't know who she is. He's the only family she's got. Honey? You're home early, Agent Graves. Where's my husband? There's a file. Canary Black. You are going to steal it from the agency. If you fail, your husband dies. Serena, it's me. I need your help. If our enemies get their hands on this, it starts World War III. You have to contain this. Yes, sir. I want every agent on the case. You're crazy. I need to know what's on this now. It's all disobeying instructions. That's a character flaw of mine. It's time to level the playing field. The agency will hunt you to the grave. I didn't betray my country. You've always believed in me. Believe in me now. Go, go, go! Only way you're leaving here is on a stretcher. It's one woman, Diana, just find her. You're wearing a mute mask. It controls the decibel level of your voice. You're a crazy bitch. We're not really using that word to describe women anymore. There's been a whole thing. Wanna drive? Yeah, I wanna drive. Just stay in the middle. I know. Did you know the Cato is actually 25,000 for both of those big? Hey, it's been a while. You feel guilty about the accident? She's your mom, but it wasn't your fault. She hadn't had a seizure in six years. I'm not related to any of these people. You're my daughter, so you are a part of this family, okay? Dear Jesus, Eric, and you've been testing us with this drought here. But uh, we know there's many folks struggling in ways uh, greater than ours. What are you doing? Man, why you gotta be such a scaredy guy? She's been gone. We're gonna search the whole lake. Anna! Anna! Either somebody's taken her or she's hurt. I can feel my mom out there. Anna, where are you?
We got a positive ID on Anna Bennett's boat. Her life jacket's gone. Something's happening in that part of the lake. Wolves don't live around here. So how could they be that far out in the water? What if the seizures are hereditary? I never had one. Till now. This is my sister's. Tell me where you got this. Filet's about to look so sexy, you're gonna leave your wife. Hell yeah, that's how it's done. Watch and learn. I'm leaving to be head chef at my own restaurant. We have a beautiful site upstate. All yours, baby. Ooh. We're pulling off a fine dining restaurant in the boonies. It is make or break. And we gotta make you the next big thing. I don't need them burnt, I need them delicious. Move, move. Let's go. I've never seen greens like these. Tell them we only want the best. Got it. What's proscaiuto? Prosciutto? Oh. You okay, Chef? Yeah, I'm great. The previous owner? You know about her? Everyone around here has a witch lady story. I wouldn't need anything from her garden. You've been watching too many tales from the crypt, my dude. Come this way. Come. We have a squatting risotto. It was hot. The spoon can get very hot. What was that all about? Well, there is something very wrong with this place. You, you are the to... chef. Oh my god. This is on you. You're continuing to have anxiety? Oh, this feels different. I really believed you when you said that you were ready for this. Ah! Now I'm watching you fall apart. Ugh. Hope you're all still hungry. <sighs> Two years ago, the name Arthur Fleck hit Gotham like a hurricane. You want me to call you Arthur or the Joker? Take me back to that night on stage. What changed? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. I'm not alone anymore. You can do anything you want. Don't you think it's a little too much? Who am I speaking to now? Which one of you is here? So you don't think this is me? Look at all these people! Who do you think they see? You're Joker. <laughs> Joker. Get tickets now. Only in theaters October 4th. Rated R. The Pope is dead. The throne is vacant. What happened? They say a heart attack. You know how rumor spreads and one and a quarter billion souls watching. Well thought now, Lawrence. It seems the responsibility for the conclave falls upon you. The supervision of this election. This is a duty I never thought I'd have to perform. They are sequestered, and they must be shielded from all means that may influence their judgment. You understand? No sane man 
or the ones that may proceed. The men who are dangerous are the ones who do want it. That sounds ominous. I wonder if I could have a word in private. You look anxious. Everything under control. How has this been kept a secret for so long? We'll never find a candidate who doesn't have any kind of black mark against them. Although we sisters are supposed to be invisible, God has nevertheless given us eyes and ears. You should be careful, Thomas. This is a conclave, Aldo. It's not a war. It is a war. And you have to commit to a side. There is one sin which I have come to fear above all others. Certainty. If there was only certainty and no doubt, there would be no mystery. And therefore no need for faith. I already think there's been another one. Another what? She's the fifth woman in this neighborhood in less than a year. You think that Evers killed his latest bimbo, tossed her in the incinerator, and you're sober? If we really did have a serial killer living on a floor, wouldn't you want to know? I'm going in. <laughs> he killed him. According to the law, we all killed him. She's alive! I talked to her face to face! Someone's watching us. To go to the cops. We are sitting on a million four. You just want to give that up? Where's the money? Please. How many people would you kill for that kind of money? What's the backup? There is no backup. Trust me. This is it. Come on. Is that it? A magical safe house. Now we wait for time to pass in our present, and we head back and make sure we're clear. Ah! <laughs> Where's the key? There's got to be a key somewhere, right? There never was a key. Hello. supposed to be. You are working with them. You brought me here to Why would I do any of that? Someone is coming. Eliminate them before they reach the door. Or you and your brother will die here. Whenever we realize that we are in an excited state, we breathe in. Take in our surroundings. Breathe out on the count of five. Five. Four, three, two, one. 
Why are you doing this? The reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. This is it. No way out this time. I know who you are. You got your instructions from a local newspaper. Same as you always do. But the division you work for, you never worked for the CIA. So what's this lead we're following? We're gonna do this. We do it my way. Which means you do what I say when I say it. Why are you in Malta? You're Simon Simbro. I want to know who I'm working for. Finish the mission, or you'll become the mission. Do you understand? Or maybe I'll come find you instead. The girl is not who you think she is. I want answers. Who are you? Who sent you? In this business, we keep friends close, right? I'm getting a really bad feeling about all this. This is your last chance. Everything was a lie. I came here for one reason. To make something of myself. To be on stage. To see my name in big lights. But dreams don't always come true. You know, when we found you... Whoa. You lost, honey? You were kind of a mess. We want to help. The place is yours if you want it. Terry, you don't even know these people. Look, moving into my own place feels like a first step. I think this belonged to your old tenant. She skipped out of here like Cinderella at midnight. All I want is to dance. Show me. Again, again, again. <gasps> Being on stage isn't worth this. What's the hold up, dear? Can you just leave, please? Maybe I shouldn't have bought every single thing handed to you on a silver platter. <laughs> There's something wrong with these people. I think something happened to the girl who lived here before me. They did ungodly things to her. And now they've chosen you. What do you mean? you everything the name of the big lights this is so much bigger than me and i can't run from it this is a role you were born to play baby's here to stay I get why you think I did this, but I'm the last person on earth who needs to cheat. Ask anyone. You're going further than your mom and I ever could. You're going to accomplish big, big things. I think you deserve the chance to make whatever kind of future you want for yourself, no matter what the rules say. Lynn will be first in our family to go to college. We know this is the best place for getting into top-tier schools. There's no way we can afford 50K a year. You can attend for free. I'll have a real chance at getting an audition at Juilliard now. That food smells foul. Lynn, 
I am so sorry, I'm late. Who are you? I'm Grace, your new school ambassador. You're basically smarter than every student. What if you tutored me? You may begin. She's my friend. Why wouldn't I help my friend? I'm guessing money's pretty tight right now. Everything is a transaction. The bridge kids get great scores, we get paid. Everyone wins. What if we made our own code for music? I paid for piano lessons. Since when is that illegal? I don't know how you're doing it, and I don't care. I just need to get him into Columbia. Cheating is impossible. It's the Fort Knox of tests. You just haven't put your big brain to it. Only help. No one can do what you do. The only way to beat a rigged game is to outmaneuver it. This is a first-class ticket to your future. So always the ones with the most to lose who suffer. So what's my cut? 150 grand. What do you think's gonna happen if I get caught? We can't quit now. This is what you do with the future. Open this door now. I promise we are going to find the perfect house and live the life of our dreams. I'm going to recommend you speak to a friend of mine. If there's anybody who can help you, it's Emmett Claymore. Hey, honey, I got a great idea. Let's go visit the dude with the big scary house out in the middle of nowhere. What could possibly go wrong? So glad you decided to come. John. John. This is my wife, Sarah. Lovely to meet you. It's really perfect. What if this house were yours? Sorry, I don't follow. Let's forget the financial facts for a moment, and just for the sake of argument, can a house make you happy? Dear John and Sarah, it's clear you seek a new beginning, and I'd like to help. This house represents a past I wish to leave behind. I'd like to give the house to you, with one simple condition. You must never open the cellar door. He's giving us this house for free. It doesn't make any sense. But this is what we've always wanted. We can be really happy here. <laughs> this place is incredible. Oh, thank you. Ever find out what was in the cellar? Life is good. I don't need to look. I think you want to look. I think you can't help yourself. You must be the new neighbor. I hope you guys stick around. One of the first people he's done this to. We could lose everything. Do you really want that? 25 years ago, Emma Claymore's wife and daughter just disappeared. This is my life we always dreamed of. All for the low, low cost of your soul. There's something in this house. We can't stay here. We gotta get out. The house. It has its secrets. Ever since we moved into the house, everything has gone to shit. I'm trying to protect you. Looking into a missing persons report. All you had to do was just stay away. No, John! Enough! You know what they say about old houses? They all have their deep, dark secrets. We've been threatening to let viruses wipe us out for years. One finally called our blood. After the deadliest day yet, social media is dubbing the infected the reclaimed. Some say it's the planet's attempt to reclaim balance by killing us all off. You shouldn't be out here alone. You are. Yeah, well, I'm not an idiot. How's your head? I've got amnesia. I was in a car accident. I was with Emma. We were driving to the lake. Keep your amnesia to yourself. People today are looking for weaknesses in others. How do you two know each other? I lost someone, too. She's helping me find her. 
My memories are a confusing blur. Maybe it's for the best. Because right now, my life is something I'd rather forget. Just wondering if it's safe out here alone. I'm not alone. Got Myrtle. That's a dangerous thing, you know? Thinking the worst about people. Especially in times like these. That looks bad. in here just poison <laughs>
be ready to finish this. So now what is the plan? They must kill them all. Kill them all. Two. Dad! <laughs> Three years ago, the world we knew disappeared overnight. We lost our homes, our communities, and most of the people we loved. We still don't know why above 8,000 feet we are safe. Go, 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 go! Hunter's last filter burnt out. The hospital in Boulder will have a crate of them. You're gonna have to go below the line at least a dozen times. If I don't go, Hunter dies. They can't be killed. But no one's had a chance to study them. If you study something long enough, you can figure out how to kill it. If it doesn't kill you first. No one Run! Run! It's different seeing them up close. We're not meant to share the planet with those things. They're Earth's new apex predators. But one day we're gonna beat them. I can't do this alone. Come on, Will! We're gonna have to fight them eventually. I'm not leaving you. We're in this together. A lot more of us are gonna die. can't lose you. This is about more than just your son. There's no such thing as more than my son. I need you to listen to me. Something really bad happened. You remember Louis Fergoli? From high school? I went to his apartment, but when I showed up... Lewis? No! 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 Get away from me! What?! He was smiling at me. Ladies and gentlemen, Sky Riley. You are in the middle of a big world tour. You okay? I keep seeing this face everywhere. This thing is a parasite. You witnessed a death. Now it's latched onto you. 911, what's your emergency? I've traced a string of deaths to you. Nobody has survived longer than a week. Sky, pull it together and get back out there. No, I will not let this thing use me. How do we stop it? We need to kill you first. What? I just thought we could 
get to know each other. <laughs> oh, my little girl. Mummy and Daddy are here. Could someone please tell me what the hell is going on? She killed a boy at your school. What have I done? I couldn't stop. It's not your fault. It's compulsive. You acted like what you are. What is this? It's a family disease. Your mother and I made a choice. We've wanted to live as normal a life as possible. Do the breathing thing. Who are you calling? You know I'm calling. He can help. So you're going to invite me in then? I invite you into my home. They didn't mention you had an uncle. No. You murder people. Only sometimes. Do you want our daughter to go to prison for the rest of her life? Would it be possible for you to wait outside, sir? No. Clara Radley knows absolutely nothing about that boy. He's invading my mind. It's our secret, OK? I enjoyed it. You made him a pathetic slave to his appetite like you and me. Well, they do say it's a family disease. The Radleys aren't safe. I have evidence. What evidence? When he bit me, I lost all self-control. You're blushing. No, I'm not. So sick. Thank you. The world's a feast of pleasures. Ready for anyone who dares help themselves first. Ready for the big reveal?